My name is Gabby Cooksey and I'm a bookbinder and artist here in Tacoma, Washington. I have been a bookbinder for almost 10 years now making artist books and design bindings. My book for science stories is about the beautiful pangolin called Pangolin Pandemic. These docile ant-eating mammals are from Africa and Asia. The Slater Natural History Museum houses two pangolins that caught my eye right away because of their scales and how unique they look. My research started by getting to know the pangolins more deeply. They are the most poached mammal in the world for their scales and meat. As my research progressed, however, and the pandemic hit, more articles about pangolins kept popping up as being the possible origin of COVID-19. This made the book even more important to make so I can tell the story of the pangolin. We are still unsure of how the virus came to be, but more laws have been put into place to help save the species. During the quarantine, I also became curious of past pandemics, and the words of Francesco Petrarch, who lived through the bubonic plague, said exactly what was happening today, but from 650 years ago. Here is a small excerpt. But now we realize it was only the beginning of mourning and the strange force of evil. Unheard of through the ages has not ceased since then. These words hit home for both humans and pangolins to me. Here's a teaser picture of the final book so you'll understand my process more as I go along. I started off by making puzzle pieces of the pangolin, meaning I would put a sticky backed puzzle piece or scale onto the cloth or paper and cut that scale out. I also used the light box so I knew where to put each scale. In this video, I show the process of cutting the scales and mounting them on the puzzle piece board. These puzzle pieces help me navigate the paper or cloth scale so I knew exactly where to put it. It was quite a slow process, but it's exactly what I was hoping for, so I think the time was well worth it. These are all five images complete, and you can see my short story of the pangolin being poached. It starts off as the shy creature being alive. It tries to protect itself in a defensive curl. It's killed and then hung up and finally descaled. Cutting the final pieces in half was quite scary. I checked my measurements so many times. And here's the final piece, Pangolin Pandemic. It is housed in a clamshell box. The cover is goat, paper, vellum, alcohol ink, and gold foil. The binding is montage sur anglais, or a stub binding. The scales are made of vintage wallpaper, cloth, and paper that are glued to paste paper and bookboard. It is letterpress printed with handset type at Springtide Press. And it ends with the words from Petrarch, it has st struck some regions twice, thrice, and four times, and ruined some with annual sickness. I also put the colophon at the back of the box. Here is a detail of the Montas Sur Anglais binding. It was very important that the pages lay flat, and this binding provided that. A detail of the scales. And another detail of the cover, so you can see that the vellum scales are actually protruding from the cover because I wanted it to look more like a pangolin, and there's gold foil underneath the scale. A close-up of the text being cut to match up with the scales. And finally, thank you for watching my video. There is much hope for the pangolin since the pandemic hit. I will be donating some proceeds to savepangolins.org to help with the conservation of these lovely beings.